getting guys like Ryan, uh, Jayon, Rashawn, Kevin back, giving you more numbers, does that make it easier uh, at this stage of your OTAs? I don't know if it makes it any easier. It's it's great to have everybody back who wants to come back. It's um, it's fun to be around, you know, our players. It's fun to coach. It's exciting to get guys out and, and try to start to work to to improve. Jim Wyatt. Mike, what do you see from the tight end position at this point, and how much do you feel like some of these young guys have a real opportunity to, to make a good impression here in the offseason leading to camp? Everybody that's here has, a, has an opportunity to make an impression. Uh, that's, that's why we meet. That's why we practice, to see how they improve. Um, you know, they're, they're getting a lot of reps, and, and there has been improvement. Uh, and, and I think that some of the guys that have been here you know, are starting to, to build confidence in what they're doing. And the young guys that maybe haven't been here um, are, are improving. Kayla. Good afternoon, Coach. Um, Hi, Kevin. Kayla. No glamour shot today. Man, I can't control that thing. I don't know what it does. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Uh, we talked to KB just a moment ago, and he was mentioning, you know, finding that identity specifically in that secondary kind of has to come organically. Um, but how much does it help that you've got a guy like KB, you got a guy like Amani Hooker as well, who's has stepped up as a leader? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that the identity, you know, gets developed on on the, you know, on on the football field by by preparing, by by improving, by playing well. And, uh, you know, we've talked to, about the leadership and, and hopefully those things, um, those things happen by, by being out there and being together and, and helping each other. But we, we do have some, some new faces back there. And I, I feel like that communication has gotten better each and every day. And I know they're all working hard to improve. And, and that's kind of where we are with the safety group. And then, you know, we talk about, you know, those, the corners are a large part of that as well, Kayla, with with building that secondary. But they're all working together um, you know, pretty much on every play, you know, based on what the call is. Buck? Yeah, Mike, with the with the new new faces that you have in the facility, now you're starting to see the, some of the vets trickle back in over the past couple of days. Um, what, what kind of interactions are you specifically looking for with the new between the new guys and the vets that you have on the roster? They, they, they're in meetings together. They lift together. Um, they practice together. I mean, those are those are the interactions that that we have that allow for um, opportunities. You know, there's time in the locker room before practice. You know, I guess to, to build relationships and, and find out about people the, you know, the, that's, that's really the time that they have here. Those are the, those are the things that we do, you know, during our day here. Teron. Yeah, coach with, uh, with uh, Todd Downing and, and how he's come along. He, he said one of the things that you made clear is the message and, and the vision that you have for the team. How has he done as far as delivering that and establishing that with, with the players so far? Uh, well, we're, we're ultimately, you know, evaluated by our performance, you know, during the season, Tron, but, you know, I think that everybody's coming in with an attitude to, to try to enhance the things that, that we did well and find ways to, to make them better. You know, maybe, maybe change or fix things that we didn't do so well. So, um, you know, I have a good relationship with, with Todd. I communicate. You know, we communicate well. We communicate often. Um, you know, if they're doing something that 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 they want to look at, you know, he'll communicate with me. So, <clears throat> you know, I feel like you know, today was a good step in the right direction. You know, as far as where we were from from Tuesday, today was definitely uh, a more positive experience on the practice field. Luke. Mike, uh, Shane talked yesterday about how improving communication has been a point of emphasis this offseason. What all are you doing uh, to that end and to make sure that that can improve heading into the season? Well, I think a lot of that is that is on the player to, to learn what to be able to communicate, you know, to 
to have an in-depth conversation or communicate about a, a call, you, know, you have to be educated enough to know what to, to look for, to know what to anticipate. And that's the person that's, that's given the communication. I think a lot of it is also um, that the person that's getting the call should, should know what to expect. And, you know, we just go back to make sure we understand and teach the entire concept of, of what's happening on every defense, man, zone, pressure, whatever that may be. It's, it's about one person, <clears throat> you know, making the correct call and, and then everybody else um, anticipating that call and being able to communicate it um, down the line that would affect, you know, somebody away from the call, defensive lineman's job changing. So just trying to understand, get them to understand how much that affects, you know, everybody else involved.